Okay, this is Randy Miller from Think You Painting, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm doing uh, 12 inch stripes all around the room. And what I've done, I don't use a laser because it's not perfect, what I use is an old fashioned leveler. And um, I start from the ceiling down, and then I, I mark it with a pencil, and I mark, and I use a leveler to do that, and then I use um, uh, frog tape, and then I mark what I'm going to paint. Like, uh, I have a little arrow coming down, a little arrow going, coming up, and this is the area I'll be painting, and this is the area I'll be painting uh, a different color. And uh, one of the techniques I'm going to be using um, is, is a tape. Uh, when you tape a, a, a line on the wall, it never does it, you know, sharp enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real close. So for instance, um, right here you, you can kind of see right here it doesn't sneak up against the wall I mean uh, the frog tape is not perfect so what if you want a perfect line um, I'll show you what to do so you still have this paint right here okay uh, this is the wall paint right here so you do one coat or two coats of wall paint let it dry for three or four days and then you do the lines. Um, the reason why you want to dry it three or four days is uh, uh, to make it, the paint hardens. Uh, usually it takes two weeks to totally, totally harden, but uh, three or four days is almost a perfect balance. So on this one right here, um, I'm going to paint this a different color or a different sheen actually. So what I'm going to be doing, it's grabbing the wall paint, the same colors as the wall, and I'm going to do, I'm going to use a roller. I'm going to sneak it, sneak it up to the, um, up in the paint, kind of shove the paint up there. Uh, so the paint's dry up there. And then uh, I wait about an hour because the paint underneath there uh, takes longer because there's no airflow. Um, so when that is done, this little section right here is done, all, all nice and dry, then I can uh, roll it on a uh, different color or a different sheen and then take the tape off. Um, and then you have a nice clean line and there's no sneakies. So I call it sneakies. Um, other than that, that's what I do for striped walls or uh, when I do the murals when you see nice clean sharp lines. That's what I do. That's the process. Okay, now we're back. Um, so to recap what I did, I put the base color on this uh, area right here but I made sure the tape or the the paint snuck underneath the uh, tape or, or tape. So after that dries for two hours, then I, I can use any kind of color you want in the middle, and then let that dry. I wouldn't let it dry dry dry. You know, the next day I would probably remove the tape within the hour because if you let it dry, sometimes it, it puts a little skin on it. So when you tip pull the tape, it it pulls the 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 paint off. So it's it's almost actually perfect to let it dry for about an hour and um, now we're going to re remove the tape and you're going to see how clean and sharp these lines are. Okay, let's give you a little close up right here. Okay, you see how clean and sharp these lines are? That's what you want. Alright. Got it? So, Hopefully you learned something in this video and um, if you got any comments or questions just uh, just comment down below on the YouTube or you can email me I think you at Mac.com. Uh, other than that or call me uh, 208-696-1340. Alright, this is Randy Miller from Think You Painting. Enjoy. Okay, what we did right here, uh, it was a green base coat and then a metallic uh, coat on top of that for stripes and it's the same color but just one metallic and one's regular paint colors and it took about a half well more than a half a day about about five hours worth of work um, to do the stripes and then another half a day for the for the body color but it's um, this is what you see. It's 
pretty cool. I like it. You can kind of see the different colors from the sun, and especially at nighttime, you'll definitely see the lighting from the lamps change the colors. And this is it. All right, well, thank you for watching the video, and um, talk to you later.